welcome back to another video about car it's about a car welcome back to another video today i'm going to be painting over room it was a it was a suggestion by one of you to read and i spent about a week reading this well that's fast for me it might not be fast for you but i got through it quite quickly because it was kind of a page turner if you haven't read the room before it's about a woman who is kidnapped and kept in a small tiny room in a garden and she has a son who is conceived in the room which is quite like it's not it deals with a lot of horrible things but i think the blow for those things is kind of softened because it's told through the eyes of the young boys i don't know you kind of put two and two together yourself it's never really um well it is explained but it's not really like bam in your face horrible things i really enjoyed this i thought it was a really good story with um a surprising ending for me anyway and you don't want to read the book because you watched the film i would say just give it a go because i enjoyed it anyway so let's get down to the illustration so if you're new here and you don't know what the paint over cover movie things are all about basically I hate books with movie covers on them I know it's a marketing ploy but it just makes me think like okay I get it there's a movie out there but it's not the book and I don't like it and I think a lot of people have said that they don't like it either so we're going to be painting over book covers with movie covers on them one novel at a time let's do this together then the materials I'm using today are these graphic fine liners from Durawent and the squash from Linol and just some random paint brushes so let us begin I came up with some ideas for this um, illustration what I did was draw out some objects that were from the book that I get mentioned a lot because within the book the boy gets attached to material objects and he kind of refers to them as if they're living things that I don't know he shares this small space with I wanted to make them the subject of the book cover so people could read the book and then maybe they'd be looking at the cover thinking oh this is the significance of why this is on the cover and things like that which I thought would be a nice tribute to those things because I think when the characters are in such a limited world for so long it obviously means that he's gonna get attached to these things and they're gonna have bigger meaning to them within the book so that was my general idea. I also wanted to make the typography quite cool on this book because I've spoken before in the past that I just let typography kind of slide out the window but I want to focus on doing more hand-drawn illustration if I can. I struggled a little bit with the R on this. I kept making it thicker and thicker and because I had that gradient in the background I really couldn't fix it so I had to just go with it which was very annoying. Why I drew a gradient was because it was supposed to signify the passing of time within the book so as time passes he gets like different objects and stuff that have significance to him so I thought at the top what I would do is stuff that is in the beginning of the book and then stuff that's at the end. I didn't really manage to pull that off really because I've got some objects that are just a mismatch around the place but I think it works anyway because it's just like a collection of objects laid out on top of this simple simple background. The only problem that I found with this was with the gouache. It peeled a lot this time. I think it's because I laid it on thick initially with the background. Whereas with other ones, I've, it's been fine. I don't know why it just decided this time it was going to be a pain. So it kept peeling off throughout the process of this uh, book cover, which was um, something else I had to work with. Another reason that I wanted to put different objects from the room as the cover because my initial thought was to do the room, like a study of the room in, as it is in my head or as it is written in the description. But then I thought it would be a really cool idea for the reasons I already stated to do objects but also because it gives me a chance to practice doing props. Props are everyday objects that you would see in a movie or you know, an animated movie or like an illustration and stuff and it's something I don't draw very regularly. It gave me the opportunity to practice that and a good thing about this project is that it's it's making me explore different things that I usually wouldn't draw so it's getting me out of my comfort zone quite a bit. I rated the book about 4 out of 5 stars if anybody's interested in knowing that as well because I did really enjoy it. I know I've harped on about it a bit. It surprised me how much I enjoyed it because I thought oh I'd seen the film then it's not going to be as good as I want it to be but it turned out to be really good. 
and the characters are just so nice and sweet and it's a very sad story really it's just a bit obviously horrific things happening within it so but it's all told from the perspective of the five-year-old boy so i think to make the cover a little bit charming was needed and it's the juxtaposition of the contents of the book and i think that's why the book is written in that style as well because it is jarring the way you read about these horrible things but from the narrative of such an innocent person I think the toy truck that I drew here gave me the most trouble and the rug as well at the top because I painted it so dark on the dark background it didn't really pop so I struggle a lot with that throughout this video and I'm thinking oh, I'll just go with it and maybe I'll do an outline of a lighter colour but then um, my boyfriend gave me some advice to just make the carpet lighter which you know Looking back, that makes perfect sense, but once you start doing something artistically, you get stuck on doing an idea. My favourite item has to be this backpack that I painted. It was really fun to do, and I really like the way that it came out. Kind of cartoonish, but also semi-realistic, and I really like the bold shapes of it, if that makes sense. Like the angularness, and it was the most enjoyable one to paint. I felt like I knew what I was doing with this one, whereas other objects I was thinking, how is I'm gonna make this look good? And some of them were really tough, but the bag, it was nice. I wanna paint more bags. <laughs> Another idea I had for the room is because there's a skylight mentioned within the room at the top in the ceiling they always look at, so I imagine just doing a small skylight in the middle of a page and then all this like shrubbery or garden around that light and it being very abstract and I don't know if that's something that I will actually revisit maybe in my sketchbook and paint that out because in my head I see it as being a very nice illustration and if I had gone with that then it would be a very different outcome to what this one was which would have been really interesting to see so I think I will definitely do something like that and you'll probably see that in my next sketchbook tour if I do go ahead and do it Something else that I wanted to mention is that I've been getting a lot of subscribers recently. Well, there are a lot for me anyway, and it's been really nice to see you guys coming in and commenting and stuff. And I think we've got a really nice community going on. And I really appreciate anybody who leaves a comment and I definitely try and answer them all. I'm really sorry if any slip through the net. Feedback is great. So let me know what you think and all this stuff. A couple of people said that they've been inspired to draw because of watching my videos and I remember watching other art tube kind of videos and being like inspired as well so I know that feeling and I think it's amazing that I've managed to do that to a couple of people so thank you so much if you're one of those people it really means a lot to me and if you guys are stuck in an art rut go ahead and draw come on let's draw together do this challenge why not it's fun or you can check out my 100 page challenge which is like useful prompts so you could do that let's get artsy together guys also a lot of people have been making art channels and i will give you a warning first that it is a lot of work and i think i i did like three months worth of just hard work of hours of editing filming and all this stuff before i got past 100 subscribers so if you're not past 100 subscribers just hang in there the momentum starts going eventually and i wish you all the best of luck guys i'm going to talk more about the illustration now i think this time with gouache it was really tricky because it kept peeling in the top right corner i don't know if you can see that there that it's cracking i just kept using um i kept laying down more gouache to counteract it and use it as sort of a glue to paste it all together and it worked a little bit but on the car the the, the top of the the toy truck there it bubbles a bit by the end so i was like <laughs> taintively not touching it, being very careful with it. I'm waiting for this book to explode at any moment. I do like the way the typography turned out eventually. Uh, again, I don't really like the R because it's too big, but it works. I like this kind of hand-drawn flowing effect. And I did want to cut off, like I said before, objects from the past into the end of the book, but they did get mixed up and I suppose that's a good thing because if you do read this and you haven't seen the film or whatnot then it's not spoilt it for you. <laughs> it was just a fun process. I think I was struggling a lot because I felt that it wasn't any good and you know when you get in your head about something and you think oh this is turning out rubbishly but you push through that first self-doubt and it gets a bit better and a bit better and a bit better and eventually it comes out with something that you're quite proud of. I think I always take a few hours to come back to a piece and look at it and be like actually you know what I quite like this but at the time I was like oh no this is really bad but I think we all have moments like that right guys when we're like 
nope, you suck. And then five hours later, you're like, this is amazing. How I did this? I don't know if that's just me. I added a few dots and stuff because germs are mentioned a lot in the book and I thought they could be sort of um, spores in the air or germs or something, but also add a little something extra to the background to make things seem like they're floating in the air instead of just stuck somewhere. I don't know. It just makes the pulls the piece together, I guess. I hope. I think? I don't know. And I really don't know what else to say about this, so I will sign off for now and see you at the end of the video. final project I finished it and I really kind of enjoy the process I think there's a lot of mishaps here and the paints peeling a little bit which is annoying but overall genuinely like what I come up with some parts of a change but I think it works for what it is and I hope you guys like it too let me know what you think down in the comments below thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this and let me know if there's a book that you want to see um, me a paint over that is a movie and a book and I will try and find it but fingers crossed that I do see you next time guys bye